once again to the shop here at New Traditions, the home of the New Traditions Dulcimer and Wabash Ukulele Company on the homestead of New Traditions Homestead. My name is Dan Daniels. It is November 30th. It is about 8 o'clock in the morning, I believe. I'm going to give you a, an update on a couple of dulcimers I'm working on. These will truly be I think, I'm almost 100% sure these will be the last builds of 2022, unless something happens and I get more orders and I work more hours. Nonetheless, these are both going to the same customer up in Pennsylvania, so you're going to Sherry. These are two hourglass dulcimers, one is going to be a six string and one is going to be a, a standard four string. One is made out of amazing California, Central California maple. And the other is made out of amazing Southern Oregon Myrtle. So I'll give you a little up close glimpse at the woods. This is the sides for 883. This is the California maple. This is amazing wood. And Kevin, the guy that I get my wood from, he just, he knows how to cut so that you get all that tiger striping and ribbon and I mean, it is really beautiful wood. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the sides of 883. This will be a 25 inch VSL. Here's the uh, back of 883. And this is all from the same, same tree, same log as they would. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it properly book matched Let's see if i can get some there it is and there's the the striping the the ribbon and when this is finished with nitrocellulose lacquer it is an amazing result just beautiful beautiful wood and the sound of course is fantastic so we're very proud of the way our dulcimers sound. They sound like dulcimers and not like guitars or inexpensive instruments that you would find at Walmart or something. Here's the top for 883. This is a, an Alaska Sitka spruce that is so, the grain is so straight. It's quarter sawn, of course. This is going to be an incredibly brilliant sounding six string amazing straight grain on this and quarter song so that's 883 back top and sides this will be the headstock for 883 of course there's a lot of work involved in getting it from this point to a headstock point be a six string again and the width on the uh, nut will be an inch and a half on 883. Here's the fingerboard. This is real quick this is just a hard rock maple fingerboard for 883 and the fingerboard overlay which is Wenge and I use this on all my instruments now Wenge overlays. So that's 883 hourglass dulcimer 25 inch vsl six string that's going to uh, pennsylvania <coughs> excuse me here's 884 this is southern oregon myrtle milled by my buddy kevin down in fresno this is the sides i mean if you book match this this could almost be the the back don't think it's wide enough but Beautiful sides. 884 Myrtle sides. Here's 884 back. Myrtle is from Southern Oregon. Kevin gets this uh, reclaimed wood out of Southern Oregon, takes it down to his mill in Fresno, and mills it into instrument wood and other pieces of, of wood for artists and craftsmen. This will be a beautiful book match. 884 Myrtle back.
and it also has oh, some ribbon in it which will come out in the final sanding and um, the finish which will also be nitrocellulose lacquer and then here's the top this is pretty rough but you can get a general idea of what of the beauty of Port Orford cedar it's a great wood uh, again from southern Oregon reclaimed from old timber stands but this has got some really cool and I'm not going to be able to get it some really cool striping and some just beautiful beautiful wood there's a little bit of it right there you can see the, the tiger stripes there and this will be the top this is Port Orford cedar that's the top for 884 and the same drill with the um, fingerboard and the fingerboard overlay now this fingerboard on this one will be the standard one and three eighths inch and here's the headstock for 884 <laughs> this big old chunk of, of myrtle will be turned into uh, the headstock 884 will be a 25 inch VSL um, four string and both of these 883 and 884 will have um, our own new traditions twin pickups in them with it they'll all both have gold hardware Grover state tight tuners and a gold um, strap pin up at the finger up at the neck up at the headstock and a gold um, input jack down at the other end and I think that's about it it's looking like it's going to be a very 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 busy 2023 so I always I, I hate to sound like the salesman but if you if you want an instrument made by new traditions by us here in Somerset Indiana I have two sets of myrtle and one set of Port Orford cedar and I'll have another set of uh, Alaska Sitka spruce so I have enough wood to build right now to build two more myrtle um, dulcimers but th those won't even get started until gosh this is December I'm mean, until after the first of the year um, so my point is is that if you want to get one of our instruments it could behoove you to get um, to put an order in now I'm also working on multiple ukuleles here is 257 which will be a tenor all all black walnut this is going to have a black walnut back and sides and top black walnut fingerboard black walnut um, pin bridge through the through the soundboard pin bridge and trimmed in with this maple so it'll be all black walnut with this maple highlight trim should be a really pretty and a great very crisp sounding ukulele that's a tenor uh, I have one soprano ukulele from 2022 that is still for sale that um, is a, the last of our stock of 2022 out of all the instruments we've built this year we only have one left I think we did 80 or something like that in 2022 I think that's where our invoices are so my point is as I babble on if you want uh, an instrument soon in the first quarter of 2023 from us from new traditions handcrafted uh, dulcimers and ukuleles and Native American flutes and other woodworking gems you need to let me know very soon so that I can get you into the the wait list and right now we're looking at about an eight week wait list uh, from from beginning of the instrument to the delivery at your door so yeah so that's it from blustery 27 degrees in Somerset Indiana on November 30th at somewhere around 8 o'clock in the morning 830 I, I I've been in the shop for quite a while this morning I want to wish you all a Merry Merry Christmas and a great New Year's and if I don't see you again before then Lord bless you all and we'll see you next time Dan Daniels new traditions dulcimer Somerset Indiana and Wabash Ukulele Company. Lord bless y'all. Bye.